All right, so let me start things off. Um, 19 songs, 19 entries, all of them. <laughs> Can you not be a guy? I'm sorry. I know you're tired. It's just... <laughs> I'm sleep deprived here, and you're just laughing at my expense. <laughs> So let me preface this by saying yeah. that I didn't watch the jury rehearsal. Um, I, I'm, I'm only going on the clips I saw. Mm-hmm. And I only watched the rehearsal clips today. I waited for the recap. And mm-hmm. I just saw them all in sequence, which is very rare for me because usually I follow the build up a lot. So it's quite exciting. I feel like I'm going in fresh. And especially because the clips that the official channel posted are all really short. You don't really get to see anything. Um, yeah, so I'm kind of just, I wrote down the five notable things from the recap, mm-hmm. which I think is quite an accurate representation of someone who's watching the show fresh. We'll base it on. First, mm-hmm. Firstly, um, I was really, um, just to start with like the fan favourite, I guess, Poland. I love the staging and I love the styling. Mm-hmm. It's kind of what Belarus would try, um, kind of tend to go for but it's a lot more refined. It's authentic, I think, and our outfit is really cool. It's very, it's quite static, but because the staging is so dynamic with the dancers and the choreography is so intense, yeah. it kind of feels like it moves quite nicely. So I'm quite excited to see that um, in the final, how that plays out. Mm-hmm. And then I all, my favorite staging of the whole contest is Spain's. I love the concept. I think it's so, um, it's very on the nose. You watch it, and within 30 seconds, you know exactly what the message is. You know exactly what the storyline is, and I just think it, um, it's just very well done. And I think the person who did the staging, I can't remember her name. Apologies. Mm-hmm. Um, also staged Dami Ims and like some other very um, notable staging mm-hmm. stage shows from across Eurovision. I think that has elevated it to a real contender for the win, perhaps even overtaking the likes of France. And just on that note, France, I don't know about you guys, it, it has kind of fallen a bit for me. Mm-hmm. I don't think the running or it a little forgotten through no fault mm-hmm. just because it is on earlier than yeah. Poland, for example, one of the favourites. You also get Armenia towards yeah. the end, who is definitely one of the favourites now as well. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I agree with you that one. When I went through, when I thought about it at the end of both the jury and the dress rehearsal, I think France was already way out of my head. It's a problem. It's a massive issue. I think it's fallen from second to like eighth or ninth, maybe. I think it's going to be top ten, but it might struggle. And I think, just jumping in the gun, I think I I swapped its place with the Netherlands. I think the Netherlands has really like just gone all over. And I say this is someone who did not so I gave it like three out of ten when we did the little vote. And now I'm I'm I think it's gonna do very well and I'm not upset about it. I think it the staging is very appropriate. He seems very comfortable on stage. They've really they've not over egged it. It just seems very fun and very appropriate for the audience. Mm-hmm. And I'm even a bit worried about Armenia because it is next to the Netherlands. And I think the Netherlands have put together a bit more of a polished stage show than what Armenia have done, which seems a bit um, it's very colourful, very explosive. I yeah. feel like the video concept was a lot more refined. Um, but obviously, I'm going off 30 seconds of footage. So we'll see how it plays out. I mean, in the arena, he is very interactive with the crowds. It's like... With Karina, mm. it's more of like, okay, look at me, but with like Mateo, he's doing that plus getting the crowd engaging so and the and somehow the crowd goes through with it. So it's more of like the and the fact that the lyrics are also on screen, it's like whenever he sings the crowd can sing along with him. So it's like, you know, if you don't understand Dutch, lyrics yeah. are the lyrics are on the big LED screen which you can just follow along. So it's you a, make the comparison between Netherlands and Armenia. Am I right in thinking, you'll know this, Tim, that there is a break between them? So it's not yeah. a direct comparison. There's a break ah. between them. So, yeah, that's going to help differentiate yeah. them. Yeah. 
Thank you for that, Ryan. That's very helpful yeah. to know. Um, and yeah. I kind of want to give a shout out to Ukraine because I love the styling. Yeah, it's very <laughs> simplistic. It, it, when you're in the arena watching Ukraine, you, you it doesn't do much. But when you watch it on screen, it has a lot of effects and the simplicity and the way the camera works being done. They've added quite a lot in. But so if you're watching it in person, probably look at the screen because the camera work does the performance. I, I saw in one of the clips, I think it's just before the final chorus, she does like this spinning thing. Yeah, and you see like the a... LED floor spinning with her and it sort of all merges together really well. And I then love she goes into, I hear it, I feel yeah. it, the lyric. And it really, that's a really effective bit. Yeah, I think just seeing all the performance, she just seems very assured. I think that's because she wrote the song. I think she just has a connection to it. And I think yeah. she has such a maturity to her. I'm just really excited to see where her career is going to go after this. I'm. She's really yeah. impressed me based on what I've seen. And the fact that, you know, it's, I agree to add on a point to that. And she didn't, she didn't really need the big staging. She just needed herself. And yeah. she was able to just perform it simplistically without needing anything. Um, I also want to give, I think my last shout out is to Serbia. Mm -hmm. The styling, the staging, I, I'm just so excited to see it. I think out of all of them, the one I'm most excited to watch is going to be Serbia's. I think as a conclusion to the show, it's going to be very powerful. I'm very excited. And I just, I love the dress. I love the kind of colour story that's going on. Um, it was always one of my favourites going into it, but I think it's really a top five lot on lock for me at least. And I think, just an early prediction, I think the top three will be Spain, Netherlands, and Poland. That is what I'm predicting. So I'm going to put a lock on that. I think that's guaranteed. See, my top three prediction is also Spain and Poland, but I have Armenia in there. I did have Armenia, France I hope so. I hope so, right. <laughs> I hope you're right. I know you hope so. <laughs> yeah. Okay, now for me, um, Spain and Poland, but... Um, the third one is, I don't know, I might side with Costa because, like, I used to hate dance mid year. <laughs> Me too. <laughs> but all of a sudden, I just somehow find my, it, as as soon as the contest just crept on closer and closer, I just, I don't know how it's Hey, it's catchy. And um, I just, I'm really feeling the Netherlands at the moment I, as a country. I just, I have a lot of goodwill towards them. And I just want them, I, I want to see that momentum carry them into hosting the contest. But, would it be enough for a double dutch to happen? Um, if, if for whatever reason the juries don't take to Spain or the juries don't take to Poland and the Netherlands does well in both, maybe. I don't think, I think it's going to be like consistent in, across both. I don't think it's going to win either vote. Yeah. So it could, but I, I do think Spain's televote and I think Spain has a pre, could win the jury vote or at least can cut three. So I would think at the moment, my winner, based on what I've heard and seen, would be Spain at this point. And I wouldn't, it would be a really great way to kind of seal their return to junior. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah. Mm -hmm. Also, I mentioned Kazakhstan earlier, um, just kind of in passing conversations. Mm -hmm. I'm also excited to see their staging. I think what they've done is transfer their video concept on stage. Um, I kind of wanted to also ask you, based on watching the jury show, what really stood out? What one what one performance do you think was like the one that grabbed you? The one that grabbed me? A lot of them did. <laughs> um, <laughs> but um, the one thing that I think that would grab me the most, what, in an unexpected way or? As in, as a viewer, what should I, what should I be looking out for? Who should I be looking out for? Who should you be looking out for? Um, I think the... They're all, I'm actually looking at them right now, they're all very unique and they all have very unique performances. Um, so do, do you I, think the running order has worked out okay in the end, despite everyone's I, fears? Okay, look, the way the, the way that running order was decided in the end, it's kind of like, we were talking about this previously before, the, like they managed to create this equilibrium where everything sort of, perfectly balances and harmonizes throughout from 1 to 19. So they've done a pretty good job with it. But um, I suppose for... the element we didn't know was when they were going to insert the break. 
it now. Yeah. Now you know where the brakes are, it makes sense. Yeah. But um, yeah. to, to reiterate Costa's question, um, I'd say Kazakhstan. Because of the oh, people. okay. They're mm-hmm. staging. They, they, um, the fact that, um, you remember like, um, how do, which example should I use? Greta's um, solo staging back in Stockholm. She starts off something like that. It's like a you shadow. Them calling. Yeah, hear them calling. Yeah. Yeah. There's a bit of like shadow, but the thing is, that it's not a shadow. It's like, it's like a, it's like a little clip, but he has to like try and perfect it because it's not a shadow. It's like they're playing like something from the projection, but he has to like manage to sink it through. That's so cool. I mean, last year their stage was really impressive. I think Kazakhstan are bringing such a quality to what they do. But the thing is, I think that would appease more towards the jury than the vote, than the online. Definitely. Yeah, I feel like they're going for the jury vote because realistically, um, Daniela from last year had a massive following. Actually, no, their artist this year also has a massive following. I think just in terms of... He has a massive oh. following he did go in the voice wash for kids. So. Yeah. So I think, yeah, I think, I think he's going to do very well. I think I, I expect them to match their result from last year, if not maybe beat it slightly. Yeah. But I do think the Netherlands is coming in hot, and I wasn't expecting it. Yeah, they're they're not that far ahead because I think with what they've done, they've managed to find this balance where it's modern yet it's not overpowering. So they just yeah. have the right balance. So, it's like they've got choreography, he's got the LED background working for him, and the fact that he's practiced so much, like he's making it look like it's easy. Yeah, he it's didn't, he didn't, right he didn't see it. out of breath throughout the whole three minutes. I think there's one more shout out worthy to Italy. I don't know what, what you think, Italy, but she's on towards the end. She, yeah. I think she, she's one of the younger. Mm-hmm. And I think that counts for something in terms of one of the young ones having a massive voice. And it does have a climax to the end of the song as well. Yeah. And the clip looks decent. It looks like they've got a nice backdrop. She's yeah. very likeable. And I think Italy surprised us with their jury vote and their televote last year with Melissa and Marco. I didn't expect them yeah. to do as well as they did. So I think it's worth looking out for Marta as well this time. Mm-hmm. I like to think so. I'm just yeah. not sure where the appeal is going to come from. I don't think it's a televote song or a jury song. Yeah. I do think both... I, we keep giving shout-outs now. I do think in terms <laughs> of having heard murmurs from insiders who are on the ground and then seeing the clips, I think Wales and Italy have chosen very good clips for the recap. Oh, yeah, Wales... Is yeah, because Wales wasn't something that, like, kind of, like, appealed to you in the studio, but I just feel like, okay might come last and then when i saw that that's not going to come last i mean the leds still look terrible i think the uk in general need to get better leds <laughs> but um, across the board before we wrap up there is one country i would like to give a shout out to if that's okay. <laughs> <laughs> we're just out. Well, but it's just one that just really deserves it um north macedonia it's just, yeah. because, it's just the fact that i yeah. point this out mila had problems with her in ear pieces throughout her rehearsal. And I think that bugged a few people off, but um, she managed to still sing very well and on key throughout those problems. And yet they just said, stop. And then all whoever were watching in the rehearsal would just cheer her on. So, I mean, I mean that. she's still one, there. Of, still one of my favorites, Fire. I'm not a fan of the styling, that's what I'll say, but the LEDs are really cool. And I think the running order, hasn't done her a massive favor, but mm-hmm. I just hope they do better than 12. That is my final comment. Everyone vote for North Macedonia so they don't come 12th again, just for that reason. Yeah. <laughs> to be fair, though, from what I have seen on Twitter, I have seen social media, there is votes for her, but whether that's enough to push her out of 12? <laughs> God help me, because I yeah, really I'm hoping the jury enough. helps elevate them. Okay, so just to kind of summarise what I've been saying, it's still pretty open. Anything could happen. Yeah. It's going to be a really exciting show. I'm looking forward to watching it. Yeah. Yeah, I think so. I'd be shocked if either 
someone else other than Spain or Poland win. Mm-hmm. Obviously, with the online vote and the jury vote, they are unpredictable, especially in junior. So mm-hmm. we'll wait and see what happens. Yeah, let's wait and see. All right, then. So that's it for today, then, guys. Um, don't forget the Junior Eurovision Song Contest is on on the 24th of November. So don't forget to watch it on the Junior Eurovision website. And also, don't forget to follow us over at EAT Extra to follow our coverage of the contest. What time is it on, GMT? Uh, three o'clock. Three o'clock. Got it. Very well so done. Thank you. CEP. Exciting anyway, stuff. Can't wait. <laughs> Oh, 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 oh,